Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Flip Robot and the Flip Cloud um, Flip Code web page to use Blockly to actually programmatically start um, manipulating the robot. So I'll put a link in the comments section of the video and if you're in my class it's already on the common page so you can just find the link there. So essentially you need to open up a new browser in Chrome after you've already got the extension installed and and all of that stuff that I showed in the last video. So when we go here, just make sure you tick on English. Um, it's probably the place to start. And I don't need this anymore. So I'm minimize that. Um, there's some sample code that again I'll include, um, and it's on the common page. So probably the best thing to start um, is to click load and locate that sample code. So this is the SA1 blah blah, uh, and these are all the things that happen. So, um, I'll do two things. I'll explain what this is doing and then how we can put it onto our robot. So, essentially what we have is three different functions happening at once. We have the forward function, we have a stop function, and we have what this actually instructions are for that function. So, essentially what we've got and on the left we've got all of the commands. So we have a function and our first function, what we're asking it to do, I'm just left clicking and dragging to move that around. Um, I've got the, the function of forward. So here is my forward function. And whenever forward is in, in play, is called, we're turning on DC motor number one and we're telling it to turn counterclockwise and there's a speed variable of zero to 255. At the same time, DC motor number two needs to rotate clockwise. So if you look at your robot, you notice that they're mounted upside down to each other. Um, and in an ideal world, these numbers would be the same and they should run true. Unfortunately, the robots, um, sorry, the motors of the robots uh, have potential to, to not run true. So you might need to modify the numbers um, so that it will run straight, for example. Um, so essentially, whenever forward is called, um, that's what will happen and conversely when stop happens it will set the speed of both of them to zero so 255 is full speed zero is full stop so what is this forward thing so what we're using is the ultrasonic distance um, so the eyes of the robot and we're having a look and that's connect sorry connected to port 3 on the little board um, which you built and um, what we're doing is sending out a little ping and basically we're saying when, when it's within 15 centimeters, stop. Otherwise, go forward. So when we run this, for example, it will just continue to run forward until there's an obstacle placed in front of it around 15 centimeters. Now, the ultrasonic sensors do their best, but they're not millimeter accurate. So they're in centimeters. Um, and you might encounter some issues if you go sort of below two centimeters or, you know, they're not going to pick up meters away. So that's something for you to have a play around with. Likewise, the speed of um, forward, just to make sure it runs true. So, um, as I said, this is hopefully just a quick overview of what this sample code is. And now just quickly how to use it. Um, hopefully you've got your robot plugged in with a white USB cable and it's turned on. So it's got a blue light. Um, change the flip brain to E300 and the port to something great, COM3, so FR is the right one. And from here we click upload. And I don't have a video of mine just right now, so you just have to rely on the audio. When I click upload, hopefully something will happen on this robot. Awesome, so the screen says it's happened, and then the robot's wheels are just spinning endlessly. That is awesome. That means I've got the first bit of code uploaded. So the next step, I'm just going to quickly unplug my robot because uh, it's going to run off my table. Uh, the next thing is to start manipulating it. So some basic things that we could do, for example, are manipulate the speeds of our um, little motors. So if we have both to spin counterclockwise, for example, might be something worth checking out. Maybe we might have one spinning at 100 and one spinning at 200. If 
we might want to modify the distance stopped, for example. So all of these green bars are variables. Okay, The variables mean that we can change them and there'll be some difference. Interestingly, something I didn't explain was the delay on the stop. That's in milliseconds, so 500 is basically half of one second. So if you change that to 1000, that will be one second. So every second that it's stopped, it will keep checking if there's an obstacle in the way before resuming. Okay, so this is how we bring in sample code. This is how we can modify code. From this, we can now use functions to create our own functions to drive everything. So probably the next one, I might show you how to do something a little bit more advanced with this, such as maybe um, play with the LED displays or follow a path. Thank you.